have the Forbidding, Forbidding Game by LJ Smith, which is the Hunter, the Chase, and the Kill all in one. I have Heroes of the Valley by Jonathan, Jonathan Stroud. The Fallen, number two, and number one's over there, by... Thomas E. Snigoski. Then I have Theodore Kid Lawyer Boone by Jonathan, John um, Grisham. Then I have Vampire Manga Series, number one through seven. And this is by Matsuri Hino. It's like a vampire manga series. And this is by Elizabeth Chandler, which is the sequel to Dark Secrets number one. And this is No Time to Die in the Deep, the deep End of Fear. Then I have Reincarnation by... Suzanne Wine. Then I have two novels by Anne Osterland. I have Academy 7 and Ariella. Right now I'm showing you pretty much the top shelf, the highest shelf in this cabinet. So I have High Voltage by Kat Von D and The Tattoo Chronicles by Kat Von D. Then I have Cinderella which is like um, <clears throat> a graphic novel and this is by Chris Robertson. Then I have Patricia, Patricia Briggs um, series, Moon Called, Bloodbound, Iron Kissed, Silverborn and Bone Crossed, and there's another one out, but I don't have it. Vesper by Jeff Sampson. Um, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Birthmarked by K oh Kara M. O'Brien, sorry. I have Sea Change by Amanda Friedman. The Summer of Skinny Dipping by Amanda Howells. Thirteen to Life by Shannon Delany. Declaration and the Resistance by Jennifer... Gamma Mali, sorry. Then I have Maria V. Snyder's Poison Study series. I have Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study, and that is a trilogy all by her. So then I have Crave by Melinda Metz and Laura J. Burns. The Devouring by um, Simon Holt, and that's just the first book in the Devouring series. Elfham's Choice and Bridget's Quest by PC Cast. Trance by Linda Gerber. I have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by um, David Leviathan and Rachel Kahn. Then I have the Maximum Ride manga series, number one through four. And yeah, that's all by James Patterson. The story is by James Patterson, but the artwork is by Nara Lee. And the last books I have here is The Last Thing I Remember by Andrew uh, Clavin. Then I have The Witch and Wizard and um, The Gift by James Patterson, and that's a series. And then I have Starlighter by Brian Davis right here. And that's it for the very top shelf of this cabinet, which I showed you all those. Alright, so here's the second part of my bookshelf, which is what you see right now. So here I have the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. And Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and The Last Sacrifice. Then I have the Ugly series by um, Scott Westerfield. We have Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras. Then I have the Shiver series by Maggie Stiefvater, which is Shiver, Linger, and Forever. And then I have Alexander Gordon Smith uh, Lockdown series. So I have Lockdown, Solitary, and Death Sentence. And there's going to be another one coming out. But these are all the ones that's out, and I've read all of them so far. So behind the shelf, behind this um, row I just shown you are some of my older books, and I put them back here because. I don't know, I don't really get them as much, and they are harder to reach because they're very packed tightly, so I'm going to show you the ones that are the most interesting. I have my House of Night series back here, and I'm not really into that series anymore, which is why I put it back here. I have Melissa De La Cruz series and back here. Then I have Allison Noel series, the first three here. Then I have Gemma Doyle by Libba Bray, that's a trilogy. Most of these are ones I didn't like or that I don't really want to go get, but some newer ones I have Crusade by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vuigay, which is another new book. Yeah, I have Are You For Real by Sarah Cade Fors. I don't really like those two books. That's Skinned and Crash by Robin Wasserman right here. Then I have um, Mind Rain by Scott Westerfield, which is authors talking about the Ugly series. I have The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. I also have The Last Days and Peeps by Scott Westerfield. I have Lips Touch by Lanny Taylor, which is a story of... There's three stories about girls, girls' first kisses. Some of my older ones are here. I have The Hollow by Jessica Verde, which is a very pretty cover, but I didn't exactly like the story. And then I have Meg Cabot's series. This is her series. It's the Mediator series, so this is the first book. So yeah, if you want to see this in real detail, I'd go to my last bookshelf tour because really there's no difference. I want to spend more time on stuff that's updated rather on 
this, which is hasn't been touched really. So yeah, this is above the last shelf I just showed you. So I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and Clockwork Angel. And these are all by uh, Cassandra Clare. This is one series right here, but this is a separate series. This is the first installment, which takes place before this series. So this is taken in modern day New York, and this is in sort of the 1860s. Then I have Nightshade by Andrea Kremer. And then I have the Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Then I have my Gone series by Michael Grant, which is Gone, Hunger, Lies, and Plague, which is all the books out right now. So sorry if this is a little shaky, but I have to hold it in order to go up this high, and I'm standing on a chair. <laughs> so I have Harriet by Margaret May, Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, and then I have I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. Then I have um, a series by Angela Morrison, which is taken by Storm and Unbreakable Connection, or sorry, Unbroken Connection. <clears throat> and then I have The Vampire's Promise by Something Cooney, by Carolyn B. Cooney. And then I have Royal Royally Crushed by Nikki Burnham, I believe. Yeah, Nikki Burnham. And then I have Falling Under by Gwen Hayes, um, Paranormalancy by Kristen White. Then I have The Mocking, the Mockingbirds by Daisy Whitney. I have Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel. Then I have Nevermore by Kelly Cray. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Dusk by Something Cates. Adrian Maria Vredos. And then I have Born at Midnight by CeCe Hunter. And Halo by Alexander Ardonetto. This is another new shelf I have and this is the bottom shelf. And I have Hush Hush and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick right here. That's the first book, two books in the, her trilogy, I believe. And then I have The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, and The Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. Then I have all my books that I have by Sarah Dessen. And this is The Truth About Forever, Just Listen, This Lullaby, and Lock and Key. And this is one I just read, which is What Happened to Goodbye, and it was really, really good. Then I have more of James Patterson's books, and that is Maximum Ride, his Maximum Ride series. So we have The Angel Experiment, School's Out Forever, um, Saving the World, and Other Extreme Sports. This is um, The Protector's book number one, which is The Final Warning. And then there's James Patterson, Max, Fang, and Angel. I am on top of my bed right now to show you guys this, so let's see how this goes. So right here is Patrick Ness's whoa, um, <laughs> trilogy. We have The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men, which is the last one. And then I have Rotten Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry, which is the green book. Then I have Abandoned by Meg Cabot. Then I have whoa, Before I Fall and Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I have Virals by Kathy Reich. Then I have Inside Out and Outside In by Marie V. Snyder, which is right here. Then I have Ice by Sarah Beth Durst. Endless Summer by Jennifer Eccles. Eccles? Um, White Cat by um, Holly Black. And then I have two books that I won on a giveaway. Then on top right here, <laughs> I have um, book number four and book number five in the Vampire's Assistant um, series by Darren Shan. So that's those books right up there. Alright, so that was my updated bookshelf tour. So again, thank you for watching, thank you for all your support and your requests. Like I said, if you have any more requests, please let me know. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching!